Hello friends and welcome to edupediaworld.com In today's video we're going to take a look at some cultural holidays and traditions in Latin American Spain Actually we're going we're gonna to review or see some, some of the important uh, cultural holidays, ok? So, cada país tiene sus propias fiestas culturales y tradiciones. Every country has its own cultural traditions, cultural holidays and traditions. So, vamos a ver las más importantes. Let's take a look to the most important ones or a selection of some important ones, ok? First, los reyes magos o reyes magos de oriente. So, we celebrate this holiday on the... January the 5th, eh, 5 de enero, in both Spain and Latin America, España y Latin America, okay? And the three wise men, the Reyes Magos de Oriente, are like Santa Claus, but coming from Eastern lands, mainly in the Arabic pe Peninsula, kind of. And they're part of a Catholic tradition, by which back in time, the three wise men, the Reyes Magos, brought presents to Christ when he was born, uh, to Bethlehem, okay? And nowadays, they bring presents to kids around the world, and mainly, you know, Spain and some countries in Latin America. Um, yeah, that said, uh, there, there are celebrations uh, the day before, right? Well, in the fifth, there are celebrations that we have parades and everything. And then the sixth, January 6th, you just get the presents. Carnaval or Carnival. Um, it is celebrated 40 days before Easter, 40 días antes de Semana Santa. Easter is a Catholic or a Christian, mainly Catholic uh, tradition, okay, celebrated in Spain mainly and with a lot of possessions and stuff, also in Latin America. A Carnival is also uh, celebrated in Spain and Latin America. And it is a festivity that involves processions, music, dancing, and they use a mask of masquerades, okay? Inti Raimi. This is a really popular and old tradition in, in Peru. It is celebrated on June 24th, and it is also called San Holiday, La Festividad del Sol, La Fiesta del Sol. And it follows the Inca tradition of celebrating the winter solstice. And people gather around to see the sunrise, and there are music, dance, and theater plays. Cinco de Mayo. Probably a lot of you know this one. It is mainly celebrated in Mexico. It's, it's from Mexico. And also in the United States. It's celebrated, of course, on May the 5th, and it commemorates the Mexican army's unlikely victory over French forces at the Battle of Puebla on May 5th, 5th uh, 1862, under the leadership of General Ignacio Zaragoza Sarin. And it's commonly mistaken with the Mexican independence, but it has nothing to do with the Mexican independence in September, I think. Día de los Muertos, meaning the Day of the Dead, and it is celebrated in Mexico, where it is called El Día de los Muertos, and in Spain, where it is called Día de Todos los Santos, okay? In Spain, it would be the Day of All Saints, and it is celebrated on November 1st and 2nd, okay? But that's a long holiday, kind of. And in Mexico, it is a mix of indigenous traditions, mainly Mayan and Aztec, with Christian tradition, while in Spain, it is a Catholic tradition, okay? And in both countries, the death are honored by this holiday. You spend, for example, um, you go to the cemetery, you visit your death, um, you bring flowers and everything. And in Mexico, there are more like parades and uh, it's much more festivity than in Spain. Feria de las Flores, the Fair of the Flowers. And it is celebrated in Medellin, Colombia, on August. And it lasts for 10 days, 10 días. And there are 
it, it, it consists of 10 days of parades, concerts, and a big, big parade called Los Silleros, Silleteros, Los Silleteros, okay? Uh, with flowers and the really, really pretty theme. There is also La Fiesta de la Vendimia, okay? La Fiesta de la Vendimia is typical tradition from Mendoza, Argentina and it means the Grape Harvest Festival okay? and nowadays it is celebrated between the February 28th and March 7th and that, that's the that's, uh, that's way you use like a uh, harvest, you do the harvest okay and I mean, the Great Harvest Festival takes place annually and it is a world renowned celebration of wine and the wine making industry. And I think there, there is a single one also in Chile. Okay. But the Argentinian wine is really old and famous. La Noche de San Juan, which is celebrated in Spain, Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, Ecuador, Paraguay, Peru, Puerto Rico, and Venezuela, and also in the in northern European countries, okay? And it is a Celtic festivity that celebrates the summer solstice, and there are bonfires in, in the village or in, everywhere, you know, in towns, squares, and different celebrations, okay? And it is the night of the witches, it's called to be the night of the witches, a night of magic and superstitions. Um, yeah, it's pagan and Celtic. And there's well, all the cultural holidays that I want you, wanted you to know. Maybe some of them you knew it already. Maybe some of them you didn't. There are so much, many, so many different cultural holidays. So many different festivities all around the Latin America and Spain, every region has its own uh, festivities and it's really complicated to sum that up on a video, but I just wanted to give you some examples. And uh, well, this was all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. In the next one, we are gonna travel around the Hispanic world, okay, we're gonna uh, know some typical food, some expressions you can use depending on the countries. And once again, thanks for watching and hasta la próxima, see you later!